Hey friends, today we are hanging out at Epcot and today is the first day of the International Food and Wine Festival 2022. I am so excited. We're going to be going around World Showcase, trying something from every single booth possible and then just enjoying all the other food and wine festivities. They have some entertainment, some concerts, some really awesome merchandise and we're going to try to check it all out. Anywho, let's go do this. I do have to say it is a beautiful day to be hanging out at Epcot, trying some unique food and beverage items. It's just around 90 degrees out, a little bit humid, and we're expecting showers later this afternoon because it's Florida and that just happens. There are so many new things I cannot wait to try at this year's festival and I'm hoping that we can try a little bit from every single booth. Like I said, it's actually very challenging because there's so many different booths out there. So we're going to come up with a little plan and a little strategy how to navigate around World Showcase. I'm going to show you that and then also highlight some of my favorite things about the festival. I am a firm believer in starting in Mexico and then making my way around. But today we are going to do things a little bit different because all in this section right here, there's tons of really awesome food booths. So we're going to still make our way towards Mexico, but I think we're going to start here and then go around and then this way. That's the plan. That's the way. And that is my plan and I think it's gonna help us get everything we want to get done I want to try as much as possible. It's really important to sample things. You know what I mean? Don't eat everything just sample go around take a bite or two and uh, if you don't like it Don't don't force yourself to eat it. That's my that's my motto It's more about experiencing all these different flavors from around the world That's what food and wine was created for it's to sample food from all the different countries around the world And we're gonna be going quantity today. We're gonna try to get as much much as possible. We're gonna start right here at the fry basket right outside Test Track and they have some amazing things on the menu that I'm excited to try. This is new this year. They have a French fry flight so you get to actually try a whole bunch of different French fries. They have sea salt and malt vinegar fries, barbecue bacon fries, and then a sweet potato casserole fries and I think we're gonna get that $7.50. Sounds perfect. Oh my lord they have a salty dog cocktail. Wasn't expecting that but I might want to get it. And here it is, the fry flight. They got sea salt with malt and vinegar french fries, the barbecue bacon french fries, and then the sweet potato casserole fries with candied pecans, toasted marshmallow cream, and caramel whiskey on it. That is crazy. And then I had to get the salty dog cocktail because it just sounded so good. It's Boyd and Blair vodka with grapefruit juice, ginger, simple syrup, lime on a salted rim. And I'm excited, a little salty snack to start the day. Here we go, we're gonna dive in. And I think I'm gonna start with the uh, salt and vinegar fries first. And I think it's like just seasoning on there. We'll find out. Oh, those are good. Wow. I love it. That is too good. I wonder, oh, the barbecue bacon fries have smoked aioli on it. I'm not the biggest fan of aioli, but I'm gonna try it. I want something with a little bit of the bacon bites in it. There we go. A little bit aioli, a little bit. That's not bad. That's pretty good. It actually tastes like the China soda from Club Cool. It, it tastes like the soda. How crazy is that? Now we're gonna try the sweet potato casserole fries with candied pecans. We got, oh, we gotta get one of everything. That's how you gotta do it. You gotta get a little bit of everything on one bite. So little pecans, a little marshmallow. Here we go. Let's take a casserole. Those are great. Wow. If I was to give them a ranking, it would have to be sweet potato casserole, sea salt and vinegar fries, and then the barbecue bacon fries. Look, seriously, I'm sure a lot of people are going to be saying this, but it tastes just like the soda. It literally tastes just like the soda, and I think that's amazing. Now, I got to try the salty dog. I got to try the salty dog. If we're going to be doing a little salt savory drink kind of combination today, uh, being starting here, it's all salty. It's all salty from here. Hey, how are you? Oh, that's good. It's not like super salty either. I'm sure it's super salty if you lick from the rim. Oh, there's the salt. There it is. I ran into my friends and uh, Pete McDevitt right there and you got some french fries did you try some Preston and I tried them and what is your favorite? Uh, vinegar. 
one. Yeah, Preston likes the vinegar one. I'm on one. That's it. The sweet potato. That's how I am too. We think alike. We think alike. Well, stay cool, guys. Stay very cool. It's a hot one today. <laughs> The salty dog drink is like pretty good, but it's not like the best drink you could probably get at Food and Wine Festival. I mean, if you come here, you definitely want to get the French fry flight. It's well worth it. And uh, kudos to the cast members in there, man. It is so hot. They're back there with fryers and a small little box. And <laughs> they're just, and it's got to be the most popular uh, booth this year because it's all brand new. So, you know, kudos to them. Great job. The fry basket was the perfect place to start. And now we're gonna move along and we're gonna head to the Flavors from Fire, which is right next to it and kind of in like on our path that I was talking about. And uh, they have some good things there too that I'm excited to try. Some of the boots aren't actually open yet and they're always late to open. Hi friends, how are ya? Good, how are you? Oh, good, good. Stay cool, it's hot out today. But yeah, some of the boots aren't actually open yet, like uh, the mac and cheese boots, the mac and eats, and then the coastal eats. And I'll have to check when the date is that they open. But right next door here is the flavors from Fire. And they have this amazing bao bun right here. Char grilled Asian skirt steak, chicken liver, aioli, pickled vegetables, and cilantro. I think I'm all about that. I think I like it a lot. And here it is. I am so excited to dive into this skirt steak. And they're cooking up the skirt steaks right back there so you can actually watch them grill it. And it smells amazing over here. This is going to be so exciting. And also, I got the bonfire beer. I'm very excited to try this bonfire beer. So we're going to give it a sip first. Oh, that's good. That's very delicious. It doesn't taste like fire. I don't know why, just because something's in the name, I think it's going to be like that. But it's actually a very delicious brown, brown ale. It's a really good beer. Now I think we're going to dive in to the bun, to the, the bao bun. And I'm not too sure how I'm going to like the chicken liver aioli. You know what I mean? Chicken liver, think about that. I don't like aioli in the beginning, but I kind of feel like I need to try it since it's chicken liver aioli. So here we go. Mmm. And the skirt state is amazing. Yeah, this is really good. I uh, get a little spice in there. I don't taste much of uh, chicken liver aioli, but can really uh, taste the Asian uh, skirt steak and it's delicious. And the steak is my favorite. Like this is really, really amazing. I like this a lot. The steak really packs some flavor in there. And it's, it's very, it's very, I wish I could just eat the steak on its own. Like I could just nibble on it if I wanted to. I mean, if they sold it. All right, now that we got Flavors of Fire done, we're going to keep moving along. And instead of heading directly into World Showcase, kind of like how I showed you on that map, we're going to actually make our way over here by Figment and then go alongside and get the boots there and then cut back around and then go that way. Kind of like a big U. A big U. The first stop on our little path here is Earth Eats, and it's hosted by Impossible. And they have a lot of different Impossible food items, and I really don't eat a lot of Impossible things, so I really can't tell you like how good or how not good it is. But I do have some friends who basically only eat Impossible things, so they're gonna help me out give a little review for you guys. Here it is, Earth Eats, and then take a look. They got the Impossible Burger Slider, Impossible Meatball. Looks like they only give you one meatball, but I might be wrong. And then the Strawberry Freeze, which is a very good looking refreshing drink. I mean, look at that, lemon and ginger with tea. I like it. They also have a uh, alcohol version right there. All right, I ran into my friends, Ali, Alleywood Studios, and then Blake. Blake Koala. Yep. So, doing the Impossible Burger Slider. Yeah, that's it right there, right? Look at that. Almost as big as my hand. Now, that's impossible. <laughs> it's pretty good. Yeah? I'm going to say 7 out of 10. It's juicy. It's actually a little spicy, too. Did not see that coming. Oh, the spice comes afterwards. Actually, a little bit of spice. It a creeps up spice. on you. Very I, fancy. I would say this is definitely, a, I, you have to get this, but actually to make it a little bit better, let's see. Oh yeah. What's this though? Strawberry? So this is the strawberry freeze with vodka. It comes with it. kettle one cucumber. Yeah. Vodka. Ooh. I just like it for the glass personally, but this is so refreshing. That like, actually made that perfect. better. Yeah. Yeah. Very good. It, now that the impossible business is taken care of, now it's time to move along and we're going to finally head on into World Showcase. 
Right there is Earth Eats, and right here is the first booth in World Showcase that we're gonna start at, and it's Australia. And they have the grilled sweet and spicy bushberry shrimp. They have the roasted lamb chop, and then the lambington. Oh, I think I said that right. It's a yellow cake with raspberry filling dipped in chocolate and coconut. That sounds amazing. I think I might wanna get that. They also have some really good drinks over here. Cooper's Brewery, Pacific Pale Ale. I think I've had all of these before, but I've never had the lambington. I am most definitely getting the lambington. I, I don't think I've ever had it before, like I said, and I asked, and it wasn't on the menu last year. It was on maybe the year before, but it looks really amazing. And also, another thing that I'm gonna try to do today, which is gonna be a little difficult, I'm gonna try to keep all my receipts and then add them up and let you guys know how much I spent today. So I think that would be fun, but it's really hard to manage all those papers, you know? I got a lot of stuff in my pockets, but we'll see. We might be able to get it done. And here it is, the lambington. Oh, look at it, it's kind of sliding. Look at it, it's separating. <laughs> it's lambington away. That looks actually really good. And now, when I first got it, they gave it to me on another plate and it fell over. So I've been trying to keep it like standing up, but it's not been working in my favor. So we're just gonna go in for it. But look at that. This actually looks really good. And I'm excited because it's got coconut on it. I love coconut. <laughs> I feel like this is a good bite right here because it has some jam on it, a little coconut, a little chocolate, and the sponge cake, so we're going in here. That's delicious. I love that. Yeah, did you try it? Yeah, it's really good. It's really, really good. Wow. I'm all about the lambington. I don't know why I was so nervous I was saying it wrong because it just sounds like it shouldn't be called that. The lambington. lambington, you know what I mean? Yeah, exactly. it, <laughs> it sounds like it, it shouldn't be called that, but... It doesn't sound Australian? Yeah. Is that weird? It doesn't sound Australian. Oh, I, I mean, it's the delicious. It sounds like a, it sounds like a uh, street. The lambington from Street. <laughs> Now we get to the point where you find something that's really good, but you don't want to eat it all because you're going to get it full. You know what I mean? So maybe one or two more bites and then that's it. We'll move along, but I like it. All right, now we're going to move from Australia to Shimmering Sips. And this one has been around since 2018. I like how they put the date on some of the boots to let you know how long it's been around. And they have a guava mousse on a sugar cookie with coconut lime whipped cream. We just had a very delicious dessert, which that one might be probably my favorite dessert so far at the festival. I mean, it's, it's like the only one that I had, but they also have the mimosa flight. And this one is a popular one right there. Everyone loves the mimosa flight. So we'll see what we're going to get. A big pro tip that I always want to throw out there, try to do a festival with friends because it's a lot easier to get a lot more food and try more things. So luckily we're here with a group of friends and I don't have to drink all the drinks and I don't have to eat all the food. And like say the mimosa flight, we're all just gonna, you know, grab one and enjoy and try it. Here are the shimmering sips here, and this is the mimosa flight. Now this is a popular returning one this year, and everybody loved it. it. Has a little bit of a tropical mimosa, a key lime mimosa, and a blood orange mimosa. And I remember, I think last time, I got them mixed up. I switched them up, but I'm pretty sure we know this is tropical, and this one is the blood orange. And like I said, this is a real popular returner right here. This is a festival favorite. Here we go. Here we go. Cheers. Cheers to mimosas. Yeah, we want to say Tastes like Sunday morning. We all did that at the same time. Tastes <laughs> like Sunday morning. This is really good. Yeah, very this refreshing. Really good. <laughs> you like the key lime one though? I like the key lime. Man. Yeah. I'm not a big fan of key lime. I love this one. This is a tropical one. Yeah. You don't like the blood orange that much though? That's why I went for that one. Yeah. The blood orange is it's good. Yeah. These ones are superior. Superior mimosas. I don't like the blood orange. See? I guess a lot of people are hating on blood orange today. No. Huh. I'm pretty sure everybody agrees the blood orange is a no. Like, I mean, I, I, I just think the other ones are just way better or superior, like she said. Now we're going to move along, but it looks like we've come across a couple more stands that aren't open yet. Hawaii right here, and then the noodle stand isn't open yet. So, so far we've seen four different stands that aren't open yet. Kind of makes me a little sad because I really love the Hawaii one. Oh man, that is such a good one too. But now I guess we're going to keep going and uh, I think Mexico's next. Oh, and then the Bruin wing. Can't forget about the wings. Wait a second, I almost skipped over one of my favorite uh, boots for food and wine, and that's the Swanky Saucy Swine. I'm so happy I didn't miss this, but it doesn't look like they got the porchetta today. They don't got porchetta on the menu. They had the pork rinds, they had the sticky ribs. I might be interested in those, and then they also have a pork shoulder wrap. Wow. Oh man, I really loved the porchetta last time I was here, but I think we should get something at least. 
last year the Swinky Swassy, the Swinky Saucy Swine, Swinky Swassy Sign. <laughs> yeah, it's it's a tongue twister. But they had this amazing porchetta that I loved, and it's not here this year. It had really awesome potatoes on it, but I like sticky ribs. Sticky ribs are good. Here are the sticky ribs. They look fantastic. Sometimes they come in twos and threes. It depends on the size of them. And then Blake, you got uh, the Bloody Mary. The Bloody Mary, and I was not expecting it to come either in the jar or with bacon. You gotta keep that. I know, it'll end up in my kitchen. Yeah, you're gonna have to go wash it and then shove napkins in it and then put it in your purse. That's what I do. I'm so scared. I'm not gonna lie, I'm a little scared. It might have a little kick to it. It looks good. Dude, it has a kick. It has a kick. It has a kick. Oh, it has a kick. I don't, do you want <laughs> We're gonna dive into the ribs and we got Ryan with us now. For love of the theme parks. Are you excited? I guess. Cheers to the ribs. Cheers, Cheers to the ribs. Thank you. Cheers to the ribs. More hot room. No, this is not bad at all. That is like a definite, I mean, that's like the definition fall off the bone right there. I wasn't expecting it, but you like it, right? It was very good. You like them? It's ribs. Yeah. No, it is really good. It is really good. Yeah, soy glazed. I know, I know. Yeah. It's like very it's like tangy and I thought it would be just like straight up barbecue. Yeah. No. And you can see the grill marks on it right here because they're grilling them right there. Right on the grill. Thanks guys. Ribs were fantastic. Amazing. <laughs> Even though I love my porchetta, and a lot of people say porchetta, but I'm from Northeast Pennsylvania, and that is porchetta to me. Uh, even though I love that, the ribs are actually really good. A uh, nice addition to it. They're not overly saucy, which is something really cool, especially because you want to have saucy fingers when you're walking around a festival. And now I think we're going to go from ribs to wings, because we're going to go to the brew wing in the, uh, at the Odyssey. That's up next. This is a very good break because it's actually indoors so we can get some nice AC and it's wings and brews. I mean, brews and wings. And it's right over here at the Odyssey and this is where the Epcot experience used to be, which is now gone. It feels great to get out of the heat, but holy moly, it is so hot out today. I am sweating up a storm, but that's food and wine. It's giving me the food and wine vibes. And the wings, uh, they did add an additional flavor this year, and it's the, the peanut butter and jelly wings, kind of. And now you can get wings like this at Steakhouse 71, but I'm excited to try the ones here. And then they have a nice little beer flight and uh, some fancy Brussels sprouts. Little fancy Brussels sprouts. Here they are, the sticky wings with peanut sauce and grape jelly, and they look good, and they don't look like the ones from Steakhouse 71, and then the crispy Brussels spouts. I don't know why uh, I have a hard time saying that. Crispy Brussels spouts. <laughs> I do. Okay. I have a hard time saying it. And then I've got the beer flight, and the reason I got the beer flight is because of the unique flavors that they have in here. Uh, a lot of, uh, like, fruity beers, they have pineapple vibes, blonde ale, they have a watermelon wheat ale, and then they have a blood orange IPA so this all looks good I know right uh, what do you want are you team flat I'm a team flat mostly you team flats I'm team flats too oh they are sticky yeah they're very sticky. very sticky wings all right you ready let's go let's do it that's not bad I feel like it's just coated in peanut butter that's yeah what it tastes like a lot it's of good. peanut butter a lot a lot of peanut butter Lots of peanut butter. I don't taste any jelly in there. I mean, there's crushed peanuts on there. I think I would try the traditional wings better. I think I would like regular buffalo wings. I mean, it's really cool. It's like kind of gimmicky, but I don't know. I mean, I just really taste a lot of peanut butter. I don't know. <laughs> I mean, if peanut butter and jelly is your jam, then you're gonna like these. Do you like what I did there too? Peanut butter and jelly jam. I mean, you're gonna like these wings. I'm, I know, I'm not funny. I, I try to be. I did that on purpose. <laughs> Ryan's favorite thing at the festival last year were these Brussels sprouts. These exact Brussels sprouts, yep. apparently. Usually minus the sauce on top. Here we go, Cheers. Brussels sprout time. Cheers. 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 No soggy Brussels sprouts. Wow. Yeah. So you agree now, you, the, the, they're still the same? They're the same as last year, yeah. Yeah. Um, these are not as fresh as I had last year, but also it's been like 10 minutes since we got it. So like- I'm excited. <laughs> I mean, I take your food and wine stuff serious, especially the Italy booth. I, yeah, well, don't don't get me started on that. Yeah. For 10 minutes. You guys, you have a video though for it, right? I do have a video about how 
the Italy, Italy booth, booth is the worst, the worst booth anywhere. I really yeah. Hear this. But I've been I've been told recently, which I put out that video out today. But I've been told that they've dropped the prices a lot. Okay. Year. Well. So, we have to check it out. You guys got to check out his check video. Out video. For love of theme parks. I'll put the link in the description. But the Italy video is hysterical. Thank you. <laughs> now we got to get to the beer. The beer business. I'm going to start off with the pineapple one, I think. Give it a little sippy here. I could have finished that, but I did it. <laughs> and now we're going to do... Oh, the watermelon weed ale. This one I'm excited for. That is good. Watermelon wheat ale, amazing. And now the blood orange IPA. Watermelon wheat ale, all the way. Blood orange number two, pineapple number three. Seriously, all of the beers are pretty good, but I really love this watermelon wheat ale. That's like, uh, that's my favorite out of all of it. I would definitely get a bigger version of this. And they all sell them individual, so you don't have to get all three. All right, it's time to make our way back out yeah, to World Showcase, back out to the heat. But the wings were really good. I think I should have gotten just the regular wings. The peanut butter and jelly ones were, they were okay, but only if you really love peanut butter and jelly. But the beer flight was phenomenal. The beer flight was so amazing. I loved it. I loved the watermelon wheat ale. And now we're going to make our way to Mexico. And uh, La Cava has a special Thursday drink, like a special drink for food and wine that they only serve on Thursdays. And they're already sold out for the day, but luckily they made one for me. So I can come show you guys. So I'm so I'm so excited to show you guys that. <laughs> Since we're gonna be heading to La Cava to get a special little margarita, I don't think I'm gonna get anything at the Mexico booth here because they're technically the same thing, but they do have a lot of interesting things here, including some new margaritas. It takes two mango margarita, a blood orange char margarita, and then they brought back a couple of their favorites. I wouldn't mind trying the barbacoa, but uh, I feel like the, the margarita I'm gonna get at La Cava is gonna be pretty good enough but still a lot of good stuff. Now we're making our way into La Cava and like I said, they have a special drink and it's basically a cold brew coffee cocktail, but with tequila and coffee, two of my favorite things, coffee and tequila. And I'm so excited to try it. And they make it in very small batches and it's only on Thursdays. So it does sell out quick. So we're very lucky that we're gonna be able to show you guys this today. And I'm just excited. Like, like I said, coffee and tequila, best of both worlds. So what I've been told, the cold brew coffee cocktail is basically brewed with tequila. Like it's literally like coffee over, co I mean tequila over coffee grounds. And it's called the Cafe Nose, I think. And I'm just excited to try it. So we're gonna head in. Wow, and here it is. Doesn't that look amazing? I am so excited. Oh my Lord, that's me. Look at, that's me. That's, <laughs> I just noticed that. I am so excited. Look, there's a picture of me on there. Oh my Lord. I am so, what? <laughs> I hope you chose a good picture. I love it. That is a great one. Oh, thank you guys. Just take a look at this. I am so excited. When they first showed me it and I had my picture on it, I literally just got so happy. But this is amazing. What a perfect combination. <laughs> coffee and tequila. This is the way. A cold brew coffee cocktail. 36 hours. And I love it. Right here is everything that comes with it. I am so excited to try this. This looks unbelievably amazing. It is so pretty. I don't want to ruin it. I don't want to ruin the pretty picture on top. But I have to give it a sip. I have to try it. Oh, that is so good. Holy moly. I love it. Can really taste the coffee. Not too strong on the liquor though. Like you, I mean, it is very strong on the liquor. Let me tell you that, but you can't taste it. And that's the good thing about it. I love this. Seriously, this is the highlight of the food and wine festival for me right here. I am so beyond excited and like so like I wanted to run outside because you know it's very dark inside La Cava so like I wanted to run outside so I can get some good photos of it and I was just rushing around because I didn't want to melt away like I didn't want me on top of the drink to melt away and they said that I mean you can't get your photo they just did that for me today but they plan on changing it every Thursday and adding like a little special thing on top and I just thought that is that is just so special and I think it's only a $25 cocktail compared to the other drinks usually and there is a lot of mascal in there and tequila and even the whipped cream on top is actually tequila cream isn't that crazy so much and this is wow and here we are we got some more friends cheers, cheers. and you got the cafe nose so i'm excited to see what you think all right let's see well, there we go Kahlua, i know i like it oh it's not Kahlua. it's all straight coffee oh. 
That's good, right? Well, it's giving, me a, little, it's giving wait, me a little here, mustache. Hold on, hold on. That's a tequila cream mustache. He wears it. That's the, way. That's the way. <laughs> he knows. He knows. <laughs> Make sure you guys check them out. They have a channel too. What's your channel? Yep, Arc Adventures. Arc Adventures. Yep. I'll put a link in the description too, so you guys can check them out. Cool, but cheers. You. I hope you guys are having a great food and wine. Yeah. Yay! <laughs> We're wear them this is, like I said, wow. <laughs> So awesome. Way to hit it out of the park again, La Cava. Still my favorite place to get a drink. This is officially the only drink that I'm probably gonna be able to drink and finish all day today because it was that good. Top, top drink for me. It has been a long day so far. And like I said, we're just breaking World Showcase. So I'm not sure if we're gonna make it all the way around, but we're gonna try. If not, there might be a part two. And uh, up next is China, China. Looks like we got pan fried chicken dumplings, Mongolian beef bao bun, and then Dan Dan noodles. They also have the Bai Joe punch, which you guys know I'm all about the Bai Joe. So that is really awesome that they have it. And the jasmine beer is always here, but I'm never the biggest fan because it tastes too flowery. But I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to get. I'll have to take a look see. Well, I was talked into getting the Dan Dan noodles, which they said was a little bit spicy, and today I do not want any spice. Like, it is so hot out, but I feel like I want to try the new thing, and it's basically spicy pork with peanut butter, sesame, and green onion sauce. Well, green onions on it, but I'm really excited to try it. It looks phenomenal. Here are the Dan Dan noodles, and honestly, I have been warned three times they're very spicy. They're very spicy? They're pretty spicy. Have fun. I'm gonna die. Yeah. It's oh boy. I mean, but it looks good though. It looks interesting. All right, I got Jojo. What's to, up, guys? To try some of the Dan Dan noodles with me. Dan Dan. Dan Dan. My roommate's name is Dan. You still have never met Dan. Oh really? Yeah. One day you'll meet him. Hi Dan. <laughs> All right. Sorry, I'm really bad at scooping them like you apparently. I know. We're gonna go for it. Cheers. Beep bing. <laughs> It's like spaghetti. Yeah. Whoa. Is this spicy? I don't know. It hasn't hit. Oh boy. Yeah. Oh, oh my god. Holy moly. Oh man. I did know they said it was spicy. I might have set you up on this. Nate, it is so <laughs> hot outside today. You just made me try spicy. <laughs> it is burning a little bit. I'm okay. Bit. I'm okay. I'm it's not. all right. Yeah. Yeah. Ooh. Man. It does have a little kick to it, but I'm a little concerned with the noodles. I feel like they're just like spaghetti. Like, like the sauce and the pork is really good, but. I mean, it's just literally, it's like eating pasta that you can make at home. It Other than odd. the, yeah, you know what I mean? It is, it is a little odd, I understand that. It is a little bit odd. All right, now it's time to move along. We're gonna head to India and another friend, Jackie. Super enthused, are you ready for some Indian cuisine? I guess so, it's a little hot. A little spicy. A little spicy out. Did you have the Dan Dan noodles? I did not. Oh, I had the uh, bubble tea, which I did not care for. So then I went uh, and got okay. the regular milk bubble tea, which is always a winner. Oh, the milk bubble tea. Oh. I'm gonna oh. nice water. Oh. Yeah. Now we're gonna see what we got in India. See what we got. Maybe something not so spicy. That would be nice. Yeah. <laughs> Now that we made it over to India, it looks like they've got some good stuff. They have uh, potato and pea samosa. They have chicken tiki masala. They have mango lassi, which I don't even know what mango lassi is. And then they have a premium lager, a Taj Mahali. And I don't know, I'm, 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 not, I'm not too sure what to get. You don't know, you're trying to get all the new yeah, stuff. Yeah, so the potato and pea samosa is, I guess, a new item for this year. It's listed as a new item. Well, let's try it. Lassi's not, but I've never had it before. Oh. It's I'll get the lassie, you get the samosa, okay. and then we'll try it. Okay, cool. That's a plan. Okay. <laughs> All right, here it is. The mango, I don't even know, lassie? Yeah, and then the samosa. I feel like I'm confusing this because it sounds yeah. like a mimosa. Called, yeah. <laughs> so we got the potato samosa. Yep. It looks so nice. We got the mango lassie, which is obviously like a frozen drink. And we watched them put frozen, I mean, chunks of fresh, fresh mango. Noodle. In fresh there, mango. Which was so nice. Fancy. Two cups. And they kindly, we're looking at two cameras. I know, look at <laughs> da, 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 da. Two vloggers. I'm going to do cameras, this. Cups, I'm going to okay. do this without spilling any. Do you see how I did that? that you got to do it fast. That was good. The only thing is, fast. only one cup has all the fresh mango. It's okay. Nope, nope, nope. Oh, oh. I'm making it happen. Oh. Up, up, up. Ah, there it, we go. <laughs> okay, cool. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> Interesting. I don't like that. Interesting. So it's kind Very of like mango. a mango milkshake. Ew. But with some spice and tang in it. <laughs> I don't like that I at all. I wouldn't say ew, but it's definitely 
Interesting. I'll I do another like one. It. I'll yeah. do another sip just do in another. case. Mm. It's chunky. You got a chunk of mango on that one. It's chunky. <laughs> I love mango. Do you like mango? No. That's why. <laughs> puff pastry type of a thing. It's like a and potato they're a puff. Bit spice, spicy. Oh boy. Yeah. <laughs> oh boy. Did you just put all that silverware in your purse? <laughs> what are you doing? I don't know where You're taking the silverware? You put it in your purse? I just caught Jackie <laughs> taking silverware and putting it in her purse. <laughs> alert! Alert! <laughs> you wanna like fork and knife it? Hey, yeah. Do you have a fork? <laughs> Oh, you do! Look at that! Look at that! This is what this, you know. I bet you got everything in it's there, don't you? <laughs> yes, I do. I love it. Okay, Let's see what he thinks. I don't want to get in there with the filling. <laughs> Jackie's like, you want to get in there with the filling. It's like I, I don't want to get in there with the filling. I want as little of the filling as humanly possible. There we go. Okay. Samosa. <laughs> Boom. I'm good. It's not bad. No, yeah, it's pretty good. I like how we had the same like yeah, reaction. Like, oh wait, mm, mm, surprising. Yeah, no, I don't feel a lot of spice. Mm -mm, I taste here. a lot of potato. A lot of potato. Yeah. There's like peas in there. There's a little bit of like kick spices and like uh, like herbs and spices, but not as in like heat spice. Yeah, no heat. Yeah. Very good. Yeah, very good. I like. It. Honestly, like I said, that's better than I thought it was. Because when I first saw it, especially with the sauce and stuff <laughs> like that, psyched. and with the name samosa, like you would think, but. I would eat that. It, yeah. it kind of just tastes like a potato hand pie. Mm -hmm. and well. Yeah, overall. This, I, I just don't like it. It's I'm, too I'm chunky. Mine. I like it. I'm you like it? Chunks. You're eating the chunks, of mango? the chunks of mango? Oh, not so, not so much for me. It was nice meeting up with Jackie and grabbing some Indian food and I ended up liking it a little bit. And the sun is really starting to get to me. It is super hot out today. I feel like the sunburn is just, it's sinking in here. I am super, super red. And we're almost like halfway, I would say. Not really, because we have some other boots, but we're doing pretty decent. Now we've made our way over to Kenya, and they've got a Kenyan coffee barbecued beef tenderloin served with sweet potato and corn pap. This sounds amazing. I think I'm going to go with that, actually. They do have the skewed shrimp, and the shrimp is actually really good. I've had it before, but that beef tenderloin is calling my name. Another thing I highly suggest doing is making sure you guys drink plenty of water. Unfortunately, the water that's at the boots individually are exp more expensive than if you bought them actually like in Creations and stuff like that. There are cheaper places to get to Sani, but you can get free cups of water anywhere that has a fountain service, but keep up on the water. Here it is, the Kenyan Coffee Barbecued Beef Tenderloin with sweet potato and corn pop. And I'm excited, it's got a little slaw in there, but the, like, the, whatchamacallit beef just looks good, doesn't it? I'm, I might be really loving this dish. All right, now it's time to try, and I'm excited. I'm gonna get a little bit of the pop on there, the pap, the pap, and uh, here we go. Mm. Ooh, it's good. Okay, so I like the sauce and I like the pap, but I feel like the meat is just very chewy. Like it was very chewy actually. It's hard to cut, it's very rubbery. But like, like they I kind of like, it. yeah, I kind of like a little bit of everything else except for the main part. That's the sad part. I like everything else except for the main thing. <laughs> it actually sounds like there's some thunder in the area. We might get a downpour, so we're gonna move along. We gotta get going. I do, like I said, I feel like the second bite kind of got me some redemption. Overall, I do like it. It just really wasn't like something I'm gonna be like, oh yeah, you gotta get it. You know what I mean? Oh boy. Did you get, I, I honestly got a little startled there when I heard that thunder. So we gotta, we, I think we have to move, quick. <laughs> to give you guys an idea on how we have traveled so far, we have accomplished a lot. We started off right here at these boots right here. We went, well first we walked in, we came here, then this way, then this way, and now we are all the way over here. And I don't even know how many boots we hit. I mean, we, we definitely have to be over 10 now. Definitely have to be over 10, so we're doing pretty good. And uh, we've got quite a way, oh wow, did you hear that? Holy moly, it scared me. Big thunder right now. All right, it looks like the weather is actually very bad out and they shut down all the food and wine booths. So we're gonna have to run and get shelter, like seek shelter as the storm comes. So hopefully it'll come and go and then we can resume, but it looks really bad out right now. Look at this. And they closed down the boots, like I said, Italy shut down, but it's okay. I've got the perfect place to go and get some AC. I can feel raindrops. We gotta run. I love oh. Show. oh, thank you. What's your name? My name's Lily. Lily. That's a care for every day. 
Oh, thank you. And we've been wanting to see you. Lily, you made my day. Thank you so much. Oh, here thank comes the rain. Oh, let's do a picture. Let's do a picture. Come on. Lily was so cute. And now it's like, it's starting to rain right now. We're rushing. We're going to try to yeah. make it over to American Adventure yeah, so we can right. sit in the AC, cool off a little bit, and hopefully let the storm go. Let it pass us. Let it's us go. It's Florida. 30 minutes. 30 minutes? You know, 30 yeah. Minutes. We're good. And I think the show is 45 minutes long. Yeah, exactly. Isn't it? It's like 20 seconds. It's like 20. Yeah. It's good enough time. Yeah. Yeah. Good enough It'll time. Be fine. It'll be good. We wanted to actually make our way over to the American Adventure, but we didn't make it in time. So we, so we ended up here at Regal Eagle. Yep. But it's okay. But look, you can see it actually. Like it is storming so bad out there, the rain. But I think it's all going to end soon. And this is a good spot to seek shelter. You know. <laughs> look at this. We made the right. We made the right decision to come here. Holy moly! How long do you think this is going to last? All day. <laughs> yep. <laughs> and there you go. The rain is all gone. Waited it out maybe about 30 minutes. So not too shabby. I don't think we're going to backtrack though. So I'll definitely have to come back and get those boots. We're just going to keep moving forward. And I'm going to get uh, America's next. Hops and Barley. So uh, yeah, might as well just head in that direction. That general direction. Here is a look at the Hops and Barley Market, and they have some really good items. Last year, one of my favorite items was the hot beef sandwich. Now they added a crab slider, a fresh baked carrot cake, and then the beer looks amazing. They've got coffee hard cider. They've got a Kentucky pumpkin barrel ale, a lime weed ale. I might have to get the flight. I think I'm getting the flight on here. I mean, this is too good to pass up. I might actually get the fresh baked carrot cake along with the uh, beer flight because that actually looks pretty good. But I think they had that here last year. All right, here it is. Here is the carrot cake. Look at all that sauce there. Right? Do you like it? It looks really good. I'm excited to dive into it. And then also the beer flight. And I am so excited for the beer flight. I'm going to take my little card out right here. And we got the strawberry lime weed ale, the pumpkin barrel age, and then the, uh, wait a second, I wanted the coffee one, but I guess it's not included in this. They gave me the brewing boom sauce. Oh, well, that makes me so sad. Good news, Allie got the coffee cider, but so, it doesn't look like it though, no, right? I was expecting it to be really dark, but it's the Bold Rock uh, coffee hard cider, and I'm from Virginia. Bold Rock yeah, is in was, Virginia, so I figured I, I need to try it. Very I good. It to be dark, That's what I was thinking. I was thinking coffee, coffee. Oh, tastes okay. like coffee? It smells like coffee, tastes like cider. Okay. Smells like coffee, tastes like cider. Does not taste like coffee at all. I'm glad I didn't get it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm glad I dodged a bullet. Now I'm excited for that boom, but I'm gonna drive right on in and we're gonna do the uh, strawberry key lime one, the strawberry lime one. I'm gonna see if this flight is the best flight of the festival. That's okay, that's good, <laughs> but Anything with pumpkin in it, I'm already excited. And I think this is the pumpkin one. Take my money. Pumpkin ale all the way right there. Ooh, that's gotta be, that's gotta have a high, uh, whatchamacallit, uh, ABV. Like that's, that, oh my lord. That's got some, oh, it's got some kick to it, but I love it. Very, very good. And now for the boom. Very good, very hoppy. I like it. This beer flight is good. I don't know if it's, ah, I'm gonna say it, it is. It's better than the Bruin Wing experience. I'm really like it, mainly because the pumpkin really takes the cake. The pumpkin takes the cake for me, and I love it. it uh, this is better than the watermelon wheat ale. I was really talking about that pumpkin ale, and it is 10%, and I was not expecting that. Yeah. Wow. To give you a, a comparison, I think like a Bud Light is like a 4.1. Like, you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Or the White Claws are like five. five. So, like, that is like basically drinking two of those. That is a, yeah, Lexington Brewing, 10%. Holy moly. <laughs> now it's time for the carrot cake business. Got to get all that sauce right there. There we go. A little scoop. That's the way. Actually, I'm going to get a little extra sauce. This will actually go well with the pumpkin ale. I, I still can't get over that pumpkin beer. It still blows my 10%, but pumpkin and uh, carrot kind of goes together. 
That's amazing. <laughs> That's amazing. Frosting too. That's Dang it. it. It's only good drowned in frosting. That is amazing. Yeah, how it has to be served. Honestly. Oh, I don't want to say it's going to be my favorite dessert. Because I've gotten a couple of good things. That's the best. But it's oh. Reese actually has that special griddled cheese, and I think my friend Ali's gonna get that. So we're gonna move along and hop in line and go to Belgium and I think uh, Brazil they have over here, so that we can kind of split up and try to conquer all. You know what I mean? Here at Belgium, they have beer braised beef served with smoked gouda mashed potatoes. They've got the Belgian waffle with warm chocolate ganache. Then they've got the Belgian waffle with berry compo and whipped cream. And those are all amazing. And then, of course, they have some pretty cool beers, too. They have red fruit ale, a chilled coffee. Not too sure what I'm going to get, but, like, everything is just amazing here. So, I mean, I, I might just try the beer braised beef. I mean, hey, I think that comes with a waffle. I'm a little sad. It looks like they ran out of the beef. The beef is all gone, so we might have to just get regular waffles, which aren't too, I mean, that's not a bad thing. So I think we're gonna get a little bit of the fruit and a little bit of the chocolate. And here is a little bit of everything. We've got the berries and cream, berries and cream waffle, and then the chocolate waffle. And then this is the cheese bread from Brazil. This is a very popular. Oh, and then there is the griddle cheese from over at Greece. Look at, we kind of have all three boots right here. It was a, it was a team Very effort. fancy, a team, team effort. effort. Team effort to get all this That's food. the way. She's a cheese meat. Did you try the griddle? So good. Is it good? You know, nobody's been doing uh, Emile's fromage montage at all. Oh my God. The whole entire time they should be counting. Stamp, yep. Like, I don't know yep. what stamp you're talking about. We, yeah, we've been missing it the whole time. This was poor. We go ah, back. We'll go back. I want stamp. my stamps. <laughs> It's really impressive how you can actually cut this with a fork. Like that's pretty crazy, so. Oh yeah. Yeah, yeah. That's good waffles. It gives me the big boys, like waffles. You guys remember LB's big boys? Like waffles yes. with strawberries and berry compo. That's it right there. Okay. This is how you cut it, look at this. It just lit oh. <laughs> it, it just cuts like that. <laughs> I ran into my friend Anna, and look at, Hey friends, I am like so happy about this. Anna, thank you so much. That is amazing. I love it. That is, aw, oh, so, best day ever. <laughs> Enough of the waffle business. And by the way, I think I like the berry waffle better than the chocolate waffle. Sorry, Blake. Sorry, Blake. <laughs> but up next is France. We're gonna see what the line is like here. Usually this is like one of the longer lines, but they do have some pretty amazing creme brulee, and we've made it. A, we made it a, a good amount. I, I mean, I, I have to go back and count and see how many boots we got to eat at. But I feel accomplished with today so far, especially being held like held up by a rainstorm. The France line is a little bit too long, but we do have some friends, so they're gonna break off. They're gonna go get some stuff from there. We're gonna move along and get some stuff from there. Then we're gonna meet, and we're gonna, you know, kinda like uh, enjoy a little bit of everything without having to wait in line at each one. In the meantime, while they're raiding in the France line, I hopped over here to Ireland where they've got the fisherman's seafood pie, the roasted Irish sausage, and the warm chocolate pudding cake with Irish cream liqueur custard. And I'm all about that. I think I'm going for it. I think I'm going for the warm chocolate pudding cake. I got you. Look at this. We got the whole lot here. Oh, yeah. We got some of the little sausage. I, I, now, I'm not too sure how I feel about those. <laughs> uh, right? Yeah. But there's the chocolate. This is that where is the, the winner stuff. is right there. Oh, and that's is that the Bailey it shake? It is. It is. And again, I told oh, you, I'm a man. sweet tooth. I'm a sweet tooth. So wow. for me, this is like this, this is, is the stuff. This is the stuff right here. <laughs> so we're gonna try a little bit of everything from Ireland, right? Mm -hmm. Yes, we are. Are you pumped? Are you excited? I am super excited. All right. I'm ready. What are we going with first? Sweet or meat? Sweet or meat? Meat or sweet? Meat. 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 Look, you got the Belgian waffles, so. All right, I'm gonna cut down a uh, sausage here. <laughs> it just doesn't look mm. like good, right? I cut mine, but it looks like you got a breakfast sausage. Yeah, there. yeah. Okay. That's not bad. Yeah, that's not horrible. It's not chef making. I've had them before. It's very good. Yeah. The onion is what I like. The onion, lots of onion. Yeah. Now we're gonna dive into this. This the is the best stuff. Part. The best part. Did you clean your fork good? I did. All right, you ready? You? Oh yeah. Are you sure? Yeah, we don't no. want any leftovers there. There we go. Oh 
There we go. Did you see that lightning I know, too? I'm so excited. <laughs> oh no. My glasses are completely fogged up. My glasses are completely fogged up, but I'm going in for a bite. Oh my god. Wow. Oh my god. It's I can't I can't tell if I like that more than I like the, the carrot cake. Holy moly. I really truly believe we could have eaten something from every single boot today if it wasn't for the rainstorm. 100%. We could have totally, I, I think only we have, we have Canada left. Yeah, that's pretty much we it. We literally have yeah, Canada, Canada left. Wow. We could have totally, and if Japan didn't close. Oh, I'm, I'm going to get that really octopus. That. I'm going to get that octopus. Uh -huh. <laughs> it's so funny that we left the France line and we went to another booth to get a bunch of different items and they're still not even halfway, well, they're about halfway through here to getting into the France thing. That's a lot. It took at least 20 minutes. Yeah, this will always be the longest line. So if you plan on coming to France, hit it early. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Wait, can we get a time check, Shannon? What is it? It has been 35 minutes. 35 minutes. Wow. <laughs> I, don't want the rest of it. I cannot even believe 35 minutes, Shannon said. But they said, go on without us. They said, go on and we'll bring you a creme brulee. So we'll see if that happens. And now we made our way down to Canada, which is probably the last one for us tonight. We did it, really. We made a yeah, full lap all the way around and we only missed one, two, three. Four boots, and those were because of the rainstorm and Japan not reopening. But don't, we could have totally gotten me. everything today. Don't remind me. For Japan. <laughs> Here is a look at the menu in Canada. Of course, they got the cheddar and bacon soup, which is a popular. The Le Cellier wild mushroom beef filet, which everybody wants to get. And then they also have the audiovisual lager, which I think is the same one they had last time. I almost feel like this is a complete, like, same menu from last year, but you got to get the filet. We made it. You guys made it. We made it. 40 minutes. 40 three minutes. You made it. Three hours later. And no martini glass. No martini glass. No martini glass. glass. Look at it. And would you look at that? The creme brulee showed up to the party. I can't even believe it. They came through. What champions? And then Good now we got Allie. a filet. Yeah, Ali came through. Yeah. Ten out of ten. Yep. Oh <laughs> like so I now we got a little filet and a little creme brulee. That kind of matches. They rhyme. They rhyme a right? Little a little, little filet, a little creme brulee. Yes, a little filet first, and then the creme brulee. Oh wow! Always a solid choice right there. Always. The filet was cooked to perfection. Are you gonna have some? I love that. Are you gonna have some filet? Oh yes. Yes, yeah, you gotta get that get a filet. Here you yeah. go. It's the good stuff. And now creme brulee. <laughs> I broke you broke yours. I'm gonna try to like to the bottom because that's where the raspberry is. Oh they put the raspberry beneath it. Oh I see it. I seen it. Oh we just discovered that they put the raspberry in the bottom of the creme brulee from France. So here we go. Oh, that's very good. I like that. It was probably my least favorite filet of That is so good. Your, your, your yeah. are I, Jude, I, do you think the creme brulee was worth the wait? Yes. Gluten yeah? Gluten-free creme brulee. Gluten -free Yes. Chef's kiss. Chef's, Chef's kiss. kiss. Filet was followed by the creme brulee. Wow. Yeah. That's the way. Great, like thirteen dollar meal. All right. Now that we got Canada knocked out of the way, like I said, that completes it. We did such a great job, and I'm so happy. And now we're gonna go out to Spaceship Earth. And we're gonna see if they're gonna do a special beacon to magic. In the past festivals, they've done uh, Colors of the Wind, and they've done uh, the, Wayne, the Rainbow Connection. So. I'm intrigued. Maybe they might do something special for food and wine. And we're going to find out. So we're going to head out to Spaceship Earth. And it looks like I wasn't able to make it out front to catch the show at the end of the night. It's like uh, Beacons of Magic, but they did a special Be Our Guest, like Beauty and the Beast one. And I'm so sad I missed it, but I'm sure I will look it up online somewhere. And I had an amazing day. So much we got to do today, hanging out with a great group of friends and just enjoying the festival. So much fun. I love these opening days because they're memories that I'm going to have forever. A couple of people I was that weren't able to make it here today, and I'm sad, like uh, my friends, the Kingdom crew, but they'll be out 
it another day. We'll have some fun. But it was great. Make sure you guys check out everyone's channel. I link in the description. It was great to hang out with them. And let me know what your favorite food was. And then also, I tried to add up everything that we, like how much we paid for everything. But because I didn't pay for everything, we were doing things as a group. But I did look in my app and I spent around $160 today. $160, I feel like that. I mean, we did a lot. Like, we did a lot. And it was all worth it. So, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I enjoyed making it. My glasses are all now foggy. We'll see you next time. I am sunburnt. Bye!